there internet, my white here and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today and today I'm gonna showcase the deck that I used to reach Masters rank with in yesterday's stream. I went from Diamond 3 to Masters rank with none other than Yasuo stun midrange. The reason why I chose Yasuo is because he's First of all, a champion that I hold very dear to me, and that's another way of saying one of my favorite champions, but apparently I can't say that too often because I get Reddit posts made about that shit. So, Yasuo is a, like I said, very dear champion to me, and he's also an underdog. People really d never claim Yasuo to be a top tier competitive champion, and something that I've done in the past is I've showcased underrated strategies in master's rank but this time with the season resetting with the official release of the game and the new expansion i had an opportunity to show that i can actually not just play these decks in master's rank but i can reach masters with what many deem to be a not so competitive archetype and prove people wrong in that regard as i think yasuo is super underrated and today's video is all about that. I went from Diamond 3 to Master's Rank with this deck right here. It's gone through several different iterations. The last change that I made was the incorporation of Crimson Disciple over Shadow Assassin, which I will explain shortly. I also experimented with a one-off of Mina for a while, but ultimately I replaced that for a Legion General. I say this to, uh, for those of you who watch my videos and then see me play different cards from the actual deck that I'm showcasing, it's basically because I tweak my deck uh, regarding or, you know, because of what I'm facing, right? I try to adapt to the ladder and uh, I optimize the list here and there. I change some cards, right? And I do this throughout the laddering process. In case you see Shadow Assassin and other cards around and not in this list, this is the final deck that I, or the final version of the deck that I used to the rank or to reach the rank with. So... This is a stun mid-range list. Uh, I have been a big advocate of Yasuo and Katarina in a stun mid-range deck for a while. I've showcased this, this archetype several times on the channel, but this is the most new version of the deck and it incorporates two cards from the expansion and those are a full set of each, by the way, Ravenous Flock and Concussive Palm. I think these two spells are incredible additions for the archetype. Ravenous Flock is an amazing source of damage-based removal for us that combines with our stun effects such as Arachnoid Sentry, Concussive Palm, or any other stun effect as well, as, as, long, as well as uh, synergizing with Yasuo's uh, damaging effect before leveling up. We can stun something and damage it to take down stronger units like for example Garen and we can also use House Spider's Spiderling to chump long something and then finish it off with a Ravenous Flock. I also love how Ravenous Flock synergizes with Katarina as well as when we develop Katarina before leveling her up we do get a free Blade's Etch and if we ping something with that Blade's Etch we can proceed to follow that up with a Ravenous Flock to deal a total of 5 damage to it for just two mana. So that's the reason why we're running a full set of this. Concussive Palm is an amazing stun spell that was introduced with Rising Tides that fits many different decks, control, mid-range, any sort of Ionia deck can really make use of this card. And obviously a deck revolving around stuns is going to run a full set of this fast speed version of Arachnoid Sentry, which is basically what it is. We're getting a 3-2 body out of it. We're paying one more mana to enable the stun to happen at fast speed. While Arachnoid Sentry is a unit, so we play it technically at slow speed, right? So that is the deck list right there. The general uh, idea is we're playing a mid-range list that's trying to shut down the opponent through what is, in my opinion, the most important card in this archetype, who is the Minotaur Reckoner. Minotaur Reckoner is the main reason to play Yasuo. Uh, he is an exceptional 6-drop who shares the stat line of the likes of Cythria and has tremendous synergy with Yasuo, which allows you to lock down the opponent. And against mid-range and or unit-based matchups, we can apply tremendous pressure and really control their board and uh, utilize the initiative system a lot in our favor. Yasuo, while being a mid-range deck, is a whole nother level of complexity compared to the likes of Demacia Bannerman. I 
I say this because this is not an easy deck to play, and it's not a deck that I recommend for beginners. But if you're a big fan of the champion, you come from League of Legends, and you really want to build, uh, play a deck with Yasuo, this deck is not that hard to learn to play. Just keep in mind that it's very uh, easy to make mistakes with it, and it takes a while to truly master. But once you do, it is incredibly rewarding, and it's just it's just worth it for the sick-ass animations. When you level up Yasuo and go turbo mode and start applying intimidating roar and just board wiping, you know, going Hazaki and just wiping everything and seeing all these cool flashy sword slashes. It just, it brings out the 12 year old within you and it is orgasmic. So, uh, big fan of the archetype and I'm proud to have taken it to master's rank because I really, really love Yasuo. And, you know, I, I wanted to make a bit of a statement and I wanted to set myself a bit of a challenge, you know, not, not take a standard top tier meta deck, but instead take a, uh, a deck that not many people deem competitive and put it to work against the best. Now, keep in mind that uh, this deck does have some glaring weaknesses. First of all, the worst matchup that you can run into right now in the meta is Noxian uh, Piltover Burn because we are not fast enough to really take that deck on consistently, especially if they go first. I have lowered my curve by incorporating Clemson uh, Disciple precisely because of that reason. It's a very good blocker against the Boom Crew Rookie, and also because he happens to synergize very well with Transfusion. The reason why I'm playing Transfusion over something like Twin Disciplines is because it costs one mana less, and one mana less means a whole lot, and it still does its job at protecting your Yasuo and your Katarinas and your Play Blade Twirlers from damage based removal while also allowing you to push for damage and potentially set up even more damage with the likes of Crimson Disciple, which is otherwise a fantastic two mana blocker. We drop Shadow Assassin because even though she's considered a staple by many in Ionia decks, she isn't really uh, anymore with the new set. And I think it really helps out my curve to focus more on my two drops because of my high density of four drops in this deck. As you guys can see, because we're incorporating a full set of Concussive Palm and we're in a full set of Spirit's Refuge, which helps us protect against removal against control and gives us lifesteal against aggro decks so we can survive. Uh, we need to help that out by uh, having more two drops so that our turn three play can be another two drop and we can float over a total of two spell mana for turn four in which we can play the likes of Yasuo with transfusion backup for example right as we look uh, higher up in the curve we have a couple of yon white wall chasers the one-off of legion general intimidating roar incredibly powerful against the masia bannerman fantastic card against uh, most unit based matchups and a very potent finisher on top of that in a really really reliable way to level up yasuo as well as you get multiple stuns out of one card uh, highly recommend running this card as a two of if you want to play this archetype and that is the deck list right there uh, I think I explained most of it Katarina is there to capitalize on the stun effects uh, they are exacerbated through multiple rally effects and she's there to help us out in the otherwise troublesome matchup that it can be control decks right Katarina is there to punish control decks uh, as they tap out and threaten our opponent with multiple attacks so we can out tempo them and kill them before they outvalue us in the late game and without further ado, I'm going to let you guys check out the gameplay uh, and stop talking because today's video is going to be long. I have a lot of matches in it. I, I really want to showcase all sorts of different matchups and what is the process of my climb throughout the day. So uh, this video could well be over one hour. It depends on how the editing goes. Uh, regardless, hope you guys enjoyed. I really recommend you watch the games uh, in its entirety. I think you will not regret it. It's really high quality. And, you know, it, it was quite the experience. So, without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for daily Legends of Runeterra content. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a different deck. When is the right time to first play Katarina? I'm guessing you should never keep her in starting hand. Uh, no, uh, you, sh you do keep her in starting hand if you're facing a control deck, right? She also has some utility because of the fact that she, spa she spawns a Blade's Edge, which synergizes with Ravenous Flock in our deck. Um... But, for the most part, you do mulligan her way. You wait to, like, the key to playing Katarina is you have to have a developed board state, right? That's where the Fey Blade Twirlers come in. Fey Blade Twirlers before Katarina are really, really neat because every time Katarina, Katarina recalls herself, uh, the Fey uh, buffs, right? But in, in a moment like this, I'd rather play the House Fighter. Because it represents more damage initially, and I can always play Fable Twirler later. Okay.
So it's a Maokai deck. Um, a three mana, we could see the likes of Kalista. I think I'm gonna attack first. I wanna scout. And now I'm gonna pay Faye. Play Faye, yeah. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna develop Faye on the board when there's no pressure from my opponent. Because this is this is a this is a low tempo play initially, right? But then as I get my stuns going, she gets pretty crazy. But finding the right time to play uh, Faye with this deck can be tricky, especially if we're, we're facing a deck that's uh, applying pressure to us from the get go. In this matchup, I'm gonna assume my opponent has some sort of um, they who endure strategy because that's why they're playing Freljord. So Will of Ionia is something that I want to preserve exclusively for that. Even though seeing a Maokai on curve here. Um, I love this. I love this play here. I think this is a good play. Because it pumps up my Fae to a pretty ridiculous... That's that, and it, and it halts the, uh, the saplings there. So it stops. It, 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 it's, a, it's a very high value play. Try to keep up. And now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the attack. Now my Fae all of a sudden is a threat, right? It was, she was a, a very low impact sort of play initially. But cards like Intimidating Roar, that's why I, I wanna, I, I'm happy I went back to two Intimidating Roars because Intimidating Roar is the kind of card that can be really crazy with Yasuo. And uh, with Faye as well. You can still chump block this this turn, but at least uh, I, I get that out of the way. I, I clear some damage and then I can scout it to see what he does. Saplings. Like if he has something like a Grasp of the Undying, then I can go for a Spirit's Refuge and hope they don't have a Vile Feast to react to that. But um, a Vengeance is something that, you know, we're okay with. Because they spent 7 mana. They spent 7 mana on a 2-drop. And that's good. We're gonna play uh, Shadow Assassin. She cycles through our deck and we get to flow 3 mana exactly here. As uh, we're aiming to drop um, Minotaur Reckoner. I will tend this garden. Many hands, Maokai. You pay my fight. For three mana, I don't think my opponent can do anything relevant to this. Okay. My saplings. It's fine. You should stay back, cowards. Never. Now I'm gonna play Katarina. That egg, did it move? They're afraid. They should be. I kind of want to just level up Katarina here and then focus on developing my board a little bit. I think that's that's reasonable. I also want to keep the blaze edge in my hand. The order rewards its faithful. Another vengeance.
play my part. All sleep is for the guiltless. Lady Elise? Where are you? Deny there. I need to get this thing. I need to get rid of this thing. You have taken a dark path. You never did believe me. Definitely vulnerable. I mean, hopefully, he doesn't have a second atrocity in hand. That would really suck. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I don't know, block, block with it. Block with it, buddy. You know you want to. Out of atrocity range. We each die. Grow tall. Grow strong. Let the bloodshed begin. We, we shall pierce their treasonous hearts. I face my fate. Your turn. I will play. Alright, so we need to do this, attack with this and this and this. Yeah. You defile the grove. Still threatening lethal. He's running to gas. We also have a way to shuffle a Yasu into our deck. Maokai in there, but we have we have intimidating roar. We go down to six, and he has an atrocity. There's nothing that can kill us here, but why not just go for this? Oriakagun. Should be. There we go. 
Again, I guess Bannerman, it's the early aggression. The early aggression is what gets us. Ah, oh, man. It's hard, it's hard. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's hard to, to make it, like to get a win streak. Because like I said, I, I, as a Yasuo deck, we, we have, we have some glaring weaknesses and Burn Burn just gets the better of us if they if they go first, man. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. If they go first, it's really hard for us to not lose. Yeah, see this is this is the problem. Like early early aggression from Demacia can be can prove to be lethal. Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. I'm gonna develop the Fey Blade Twirler. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. The order rewards its faithful. I'm playing this instead of Yasuo because he's gonna be able to challenge Yasuo anyway, so I, I wanna I'll write my own story. I will play my part. Spell that? A fight to cook. That, that fucking early. One banner, one destiny. This will be quick. Everything I've worked for. do have a future. I go where the road takes me. In a long path to get here. We speak with blades. That's super risky. That's super. What if I have another intimidating roar? I think I have to let Yasuo die this time around. Yeah. Bleed. Rough technique. Good results. I have to let Yasuo die. I have another one in hand. Need to start developing these mentors. Slow down, will you? So if he attacks with this, he drops you down to 9, which means that then when he attacks, it just kind of kills me, right? Which means that I have to I'll make this. this quick. Well 
Estimate me. I dare you. Batter him! No one goes hungry! Oh, it's on. It's too late for you. Casey has a repost. I'm gonna attack. That's his card. That's his card. Okay. Okay. Which means this. This will keep me safe. 100%. Because if he plays Sithria, uh, I, I could not afford the spider play, but I, I want to have a better mina. It has to be a repose, right? It has to be a repose. Otherwise, why would you attack with this? It has to be a repose. I'm gonna play this just for the body. Alright, nice bluff. You should stay back, cowards. Game. Negotiations are over. Ah, shut up. Ah, there we go. How you doing? I'm good. Ah, shut up. Oh, okay. Ah, quit your yapping. Okay, fine. How you doing? Ah, shut up. Oh, this climb is sucking the life out of me! I'm not particularly religious, but Lord help me! Help me, please. I'm not gonna lie, queuing into that guy like really tilts me though. Uh I like I like this. I'm gonna drop you. Everything else seems nice. Like the Spirit's Refuge is actually really neat. Follow the wind, but 
watch your back. Get bloody, get paid. I face my fate, your turn. Not my first gun fight. <laughs> of a... I don't want to play Ravenous Flock because he could have a single combat. This. He has a shit little mana, which is concerning, but nothing gets between me and my mark. Fuck you, Aller. Looking for trouble? It found you. I'm sorry. Fuck that bird. Okay. Scouting ahead. Kind of fun, right? Maybe I do have a future. Russell, love you. So that, that that was a uh, a misfortune. He's not actually packing that in his deck. Okay. We're gonna pass here. We're gonna drop this because we fear a rally effect. Relentless pursuit.
We still lose Yasuo. But we gain health back. No cure. And now we can kill Misfortune. <laughs> Show them what we're made of. Anything for the right coin. Leva, it's spice. Follow my lead. Batter him. Eat up, Fred. Face me, Shorthorn. The order rewards its faithful. I thought you'd run. Scared stiff. Try to keep up. God damn, dude! Clever boy. Okay, this is where the Spirit's Refuge... Why do I always go second against aggro? Why? Why? This always happens. That's so annoying. Shit, dude. He gets a free hit off on me. And that doesn't happen if I'm going... It's not only the fact that he attacks first, it's the fact that he attacks when he, on turn three. Super relevant. Super relevant. Okay, that's a good draw. Maybe he doesn't have a one drop. Maybe that. Uh. Just need a second. Okay, ready. All right. House Spider is the kind of unit. The fact that we drew House Spider here can make the absolute difference. I can do this. First big mission. Ah, for fuck's sake. Never for a this Katarina is uh, a counterplay to this because I block here. I block here. I take the hit from you because I, I want to keep this jump blocker for later. We're still we're still going down pretty low. Time to go. They got past me. Ha, they'll never know what killed them. Maybe I should have hit this because if I if I draw into a ravenous flock, yeah. Backfired. Follow the wind. Watch, Watch your back. back. Of course I'm ready. Some things never die. Fuse is lit. Just gonna put this here. No more running. God, you gotta be kidding me, dude. I think I I, I need the no no. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep like this. Better run. Uh. Oh, 
Because he plays like a decimate. First one's free. <sighs> what if this man has? What if this man has? Let's actually just. Let's wait. I think he has a. No refund. I need a Spirit's Refuge, I need to go up to 7, and um, I I need to keep the mana open for the Nye. That sucks, sucks that I don't have a Willow Bayonne, but I can do this. It's Draven time! Let me show you what I can do. Oh, we're looking at a loss here. Like the fuse? Brewing up some trouble. Hope you brought friends. I should have gone for the Yasuo Steel Tempest, but. Whatever. Yeah, I should've gone for the Steel Tempest. Going going for this was a mistake. Regardless, uh, it doesn't seem like it matters. The rain here is opinionated. Boom. Is that all? Alright, Spirit's Refuge or Bust, and even if we do get Spirit's Refuge, uh, it's looking really grim. No one's the wiser. Okay, so if we play you, we stun you. Is there a way around this? Is there a way around this? I don't think so, right? If we play you, we stun you. We force these two to trade. Maybe I can get a maybe I can get a mistake from him. Maybe I can get a misplay from him. Ready. Got an axe with your name on it. Nah, it's not happening. I, I could have stunned this and I could have forced the trade. I, I probably should have done that. I, I should have stunned Draven. I should have stunned Draven and then I would have forced the, the transfusion. I would have killed this. I would have had a chance. I would have had a chance. Yeah, I should have done that. I should have stunned Draven. This was, this was a mistake. Big mistake. If I had one more mana, man. One more mana. One more mana, dude. Because because of because of that play. Because of not going for the Steel Tempest. Draven. Because I didn't go for the Ah, because I went for that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Is a leaf's only purpose ah, shit. fall. Yeah. I mean it didn't matter. It didn't matter then. It didn't matter. But I, I should have done that regardless. I'm, I'm losing a lot to it. Oh, yikes. See, I, I have a better win rate against this than against fucking Burn. Burn is just... Burn is tough, dude, for us. Which is not quite there. Double Fae Blade Twirler. You know what? I'm going to keep this in. It's got good pressure. That's a good draw, too. The burn deck, man. The burn. What can I do against the burn deck, dude? What can I? I, I, I have to. I have to go back to the drawing board. I have to do something to this deck to match up better against the burn deck because I'm losing it to it like a shitload. That's fine. Two mana for three. We're one ahead. I'm, that's completely fine. 
If he plays Elise, then we'll play you. I know what lurks in the shadow. Can't open attack with this right now. He doesn't trade Fable Garuli really into his board, so that was the perfect moment to drop Fable Blade Twirler. Because playing this is difficult against this deck. I shouldn't like invest too much in setting her up because she can very easily die. Go ahead, play with your food. Never play fair. We're dropping Katarina now. This this sentry is really preventing him from attacking with this. Yeah, he, just, he can't attack with this anyways, because I, I can just block into it with Katarina. Like, he can't afford that. We're going to keep this transfusion for Katarina. I'm going to ping you out. It's just a hit. So he doesn't level up. Unless he has another Elise in hand. That would be pretty tilty. Then we'll drop the House Spider. Attack. Violet solves everything. You dare. All right, seven cards. You'll serve me one way or another. Never forget me. Minotaur Reckoner doesn't really accomplish much here. It's too low tempo, especially against these spiders. So I'd rather go with Katarina. I could drop double three drop here, but I don't think that accomplishes much either. Like I feel like I have to keep up the pressure, even though developing a board could be nice. I want to get more value out of this sentry. So I'm doing this. I'm using Katarina as a way to try to force him to to trade Quick as the boy. Yes. That's good. Now who's got the upper hand? We have to be smart with this Katarina. We have to we have to find a way. I'm doing this my way. Also giving us a blocker for the Elise. You won't suffer long. Let the bloodshed begin. I have to clear these spiders. Anything but a thermal beam we can handle. To the Katarina's such a cool card. I agree. She's one of my favorite champions. I know I say that a lot, but whatever. Speed. 
I should have stunned, right? No, because he just traced into that. Should I stun here? Or should I drop the Minotaur Reckoner? It's funny because if I would have gone for a double stun, I would have won the game, but I think Reckoner. We set up the stun automatically while developing a very big unit. That Will of Ionia is a very nice draw. I would love to see a Ladros. I would absolutely love to see a Commander Ladros here. Or a Karina. One of the two. I would love that. Oh my god, you have no idea. Yes! You're dead. You're dead. Far. Whew, okay. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know what this is, but um, I would rather face the Masia than this. All right, let's keep the Fey Blade Twirler. Let's drop the Legion General, and honestly, let's drop these two as well. All right, this is acceptable. It's just Demacia. Feel the sizzle. I'm gonna take the hit because uh, this this variant he can run like make it rain amongst other things, so I gotta watch out for that. I'm gonna pass first. See what he does. It's fine. Going back. Flavor and spice. Witness the flame. Dash it up. Violence solves everything. Fortune favors the bold. Like this, this applies a lot of pressure. Right? Can I, can I take this hit? I don't think I can. Right? Want to see these it's moves up much. close? But then this thing, this, this fucking thing applies so much pressure, though. The next turn I could, I get rid of like three of his bodies and leave him with just those two birds. I think this is fine. Love ya.
never You started without me. One banner, one destiny. Witness the floor. Time to work. Don't back down. Now who's got the upper hand? You should stay back, cowards. Yeah. Try to keep up. I accept. Say your farewells. No! I've got your back! No going back. Dare you. Do I have to worry about some sort of like direct damage? What kind of direct damage? How can he deal five five damage to me? Five damage to me. Oh, it could be a uh could be a riptide rex. Rex, man, Rex, Rex is a problem. Face me, Shorthorn. Love ya. Ah, fucking Rex, dude. Let's do this. Let the bloodshed begin. No Rex, no Rex, no Rex, no Rex, no Rex, no Rex, no Rex. No Rex. We have double transfusion. Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! My kind of party. Yeah! Oh my god, yes! Come on, baby! Woo! Masters with Yasuo! Oh! There we go! God, that took forever! <laughs> Jesus!